famous for several things and definitely what tops the list is exotic cars. Everybody aspires to drive a sports car, if not own, at least take a test drive. So here we are helping you explore the world of exotic cars. Welcome to a brand new episode of Crazy Wheels with me Pratibha. Extravagant, exquisite design and outstanding performance. Introducing the legendary super sports car Lamborghini. In the number Lamborghini in the eight famous and future forward model I Aventador on a review GM bonus. Lamborghini in the Aventador model and a review Chiampona. To know further details about this piece of art, let me call upon the famous content creator, Sami Asan. Hello Sami, how are you doing? Great, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So Sami, tell me about yourself. I am basically a content creator in YouTube and I make reviews on local, international and domestic cars. Hmm. Basically, I review cars that are like top notch, that is the Rolls Royce, the BMWs, the AMG productions and as well as the Bentleys. Okay, and how many subscribers do you have? For the time being, I have 21,000 subscribers. It's That's been actually 7 months since I'm working on my channel. Okay. And I've gathered 3.6 million total views. That's good. Yeah. So, so what led you to this content creating and you know the passion, what, what's your passion towards cars? Actually, for a lot of time I was like a big car enthusiast. Okay. Including all of the variants, okay. like the Lamborghinis, the Ferraris and everything. Hmm. So, you know, I thought like, why should I waste my time? I should consume it more into like turn myself into a YouTuber which will obviously prove to be very passionate in the future for okay. me. So Sami, tell us the history of Lamborghini. Basically the first Lamborghini production started in 1963 hmm. and you know like there is a very interesting history behind the Lamborghini. Hmm. Is It is itself named after the owner Ferrucci Lamborghini hmm. and Actually, it is a rivalry between the Ferrari and the Lamborghini okay. when it actually started. Okay, okay. So, Ferrucci Lamborghini itself owned a Ferrari at that time because Ferrari was like the top notch vehicles at that time, hmm. the supercars. Okay. So, he actually noticed a fault in the Ferrari hmm. for which he tried to give a suggestion to the owner that hmm. the clutch and the exterior is somewhat like not cooping up with the facility of the car. Okay. So, obviously, like Ferrari was quite, he know, you know, like he was frustrated by the fact that Lamborghini, an mm -hmm. owner of a truck company, gave advice to him. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. like he said that it would be better if you stay off, like okay. mind your own business. So it is like an ego. <laughs> exactly, an ego. So that is actually when the rivalry started between Lamborghini okay. and Ferrari. Okay. And that is a time when the Lamborghini, mm -hmm. he actually himself was very um, car enthusiast of the supercars. So mm -hmm. he tried to make his own mm -hmm. productions of Lamborghini. Okay. So the first Lamborghini ever produced was actually, I, I know it sounds mysterious, but like it had no engine inside the car. The bonnet mm -hmm. was itself closed all the time. <laughs> okay. You know, like just, they just wanted to put out the exterior of the car just to show that th this is the starting of the Lamborghini. Okay. Hmm. And the engine, where was that put in? That was actually introduced later. Okay. Firstly, okay. they only introduced the exterior. Okay, and later yes, the full exactly. working model was introduced. You know, like a trailer. <laughs> okay, that's, that's interesting, exactly. that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. So, today we are reviewing actually Aventador. Mm -hmm. So, what's the speciality of this particular model? Uh, in my point of view, Aventador is one of the most powerful and the yeah. most luxurious and the sexiest looking vehicles <laughs> up till date. Yes. Yeah, sexy like, you know, indeed, yes. It is like the exterior, the interior comprises of so much facilities and features that mm. no other supercar in 2017 offers. And okay. one of the most interesting features I find on the Lamborghini Aventador mm. is the exhaust sound. 
Okay. Yes, because it is my favorite. You know, it's so mesmerizing and <laughs> satisfying. Yeah, it, it drives away everybody's oh, yes. attention. <laughs> and one of the most interesting features of the Aventador hmm. is that it contains V12 engine okay. with 6.5 liters. Okay, so this is, is something which is there only in this particular model. Yes, exactly. Okay. The Lamborghini also has the Huracan variant, okay. but that is like, you know, a downgrade variant. It okay. has a V10 engine, okay. but this car provides you with a V12 engine and it can reach 217 miles per hour. Oh wow. Yes, and That's only great. 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 2.9 seconds. We should try Ferrari even out. tried to, you know, like Ferrari <laughs> even tried to reach the point when they like introduce engines hmm. like the V12 engine to reach the speed of 100 in less than 2.9 seconds. Okay. But they were unable to do so. So we should try this out. Oh yeah, sure, we should definitely. <laughs> Looking forward to that, yeah. This is Lamborghini's Aventador model. So, Sammy, tell us about the exterior design. So, basically, in the Lamborghini Aventador, we mm -hmm. have many variants, okay. and this is the most expensive variant, the LP704, okay. which comprises of many more features mm -hmm. for the driver as well as the exterior. Okay. Now, moving on the front, you can clearly see that it comprises a very aggressive look from the front, mm -hmm. and also the touchings of the carbon fibers in the bumper as mm -hmm. well as here. Can you just explain us what's the whole purpose of this carbon fiber? Carbon fiber is basically a very light material Okay And one of the most demanding features to install in a car part And how about the headlights? That looks very unique The Aventador provides you with the DRLs okay. That is the daytime running lights Okay Yes, okay. they are used in daytime okay. for the to alert the incoming drivers okay. Yes, exactly And here we have the high beam assist these, these small ones Yes, high beam assist okay, as okay. well as the LED integrators. Okay, hmm. okay. So and on the front end we have the bonnet okay. and on the back end we have the entire engine, the V12. That, that is a whole speciality exactly. of this car, the hmm. engine is at the back. Yes. Oh, okay. no, basically many sports car comprises their engine in the back side. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, Sami, what's the speciality of this logo? I've heard there's something special. Um, basically the owner, okay. Ferruccio Lamborghini, okay. his star was Taurus. Okay, so it's the Torian bull. <laughs> exactly, that okay. is the reason why it comprises a bull in it, the Lamborghini okay, logo. Okay. He and represents his zodiac sign. Oh, so hmm. maybe it would be lucky for him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's about the shape of this uh, particular uh, model? Um, Lamborghini has more concentrated on the shape of the car because okay. the aerodynamic shape of the car okay. provides such high efficient speeds and that is the reason why it reaches 217 miles per hour in no time. It cuts through the wind and exactly, goes Exactly, right? it cuts through the wind. <laughs> So this is the boot space for the Ventador. Oh, wow. Yes. And in my point of view, mm. I think that Lamborghini didn't compromise to provide a good amount of space in that trunk capacity. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you're telling that when compared to other sports models, yes. this has a better boot space? Because uh, in terms of being a sports car, okay. the front end doesn't provide you much space. Okay. But Lamborghini didn't compromise to provide a very depth and a very spacious trunk. This is now interesting. This is a very interesting fact. Because uh, Sami is saying that there is no sports model in the boot space. But comparatively, Lamborghini Aventador has that kind of boot space in terms of depth, right? It's exactly. got more depth yes. than you know hmm. compared to other uh, hmm. sports models. So, this is a really interesting fact about this.
So this is the side of the Lamborghini Aventador mm -hmm. and once you take a closer look on the front you can see that we have the LED yeah. indicators. Yeah. Basically yeah. this is quite a unique place to fit in because in most of the cars whether it is sedan or sports car yeah. they place the indicator right here yeah, on the I've side mirror. Yeah like a small line out there yeah. Exactly. <laughs> And now taking a closer look at the front wheels as mm. well as the rear wheels, mm. they both are 21 inch forged aluminum alloy rims okay. and painted in black which comprises the interior color too. Just to coordinate with the... Exactly. Yes, yes. Same, with the, same goes with the brake, brake calibers. Yeah. Frameless window is yet another unique feature of Aventador. This is not something which is not seen in other sports car but this design of this frameless window is what adds to the niche quality of this particular model. It's something that everybody look forward to. You can see that these are the scissor doors. Scissor doors, my, my personal favorite. Same I, can, here. <laughs> I can just go on and on doing exactly. this. <laughs> and we have the frameless window, yeah, fully yeah. automatic. Yeah, th this is also one of the most uh, stylish, yeah, the exactly. most stylish in the niche hmm. feature that Lamborghini has. Definitely. And moving on the back, you can see that these are the air fenders which are only specific to the Lamborghini Aventador and okay. not to the Huracan. And what's the speciality of this one? Basically, it provides a air, a air flow to the engine to okay. make it cool. To cool, to cool exactly. it down. So yes. it's like it pulls in the air from hmm. outside and then. Exactly, okay. and we have the carbon fiber touchings too, okay. as well That's as the batch like of the LB700. This is, this is for the aerodynamics, right? Exactly, aerodynamics. Yes, yes, yes. How about like here also I see something of such sort, you, this is also for the... Uh, These are just basically to cool down the engine because thing. you know it is a V12 6.5 litre engine. So obviously okay. it would need more space and more like... Um, openings to make it cool down. Okay, 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 yes. okay, okay, okay. So that, that's, that's the whole It system. is a path. And this is the most beautiful and the luxurious, more mm. like a beastly looking rear view size of the Lamborghini Aventador. Mm. You can see it provides you with the DMC kit, which comprises of the spoiler, mm. which is full carbon fiber. This one, right? Exactly. Yeah. As well as the bumpers. It's really gorgeous. Exactly. Mm. As well as the rear bumpers, which are also uh, carbon fibers. Okay, okay. Yeah, and we also have the built-in rear view camera, which oh, there, works simultaneously right? yeah. with the TFT navigation system in the dashboard. Yeah, this you can full see HD. the whole uh, scene from Exactly. There. Here we have the Lamborghini lettering, which is only specific to the rear side. It's not on the front. I, I really find this the most gorgeous in the whole. <laughs> <laughs> the very a very good yeah, font. Yeah, the, the the detailing is really gorgeous. Amazing, and yeah. you can see that these are the LED brake lamps with the yeah, LED here, indicators right? as well as the parking lights. Mm -hmm. Okay. And below that you can see we have the exhaust which are the reason behind those immersive sounds you hear yeah. all the time. <laughs> the most mesmerizing sound that Definitely, everybody exactly. craves to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the Lamborghini Aventador Signature V12 engine. 6.5 liter twin turbocharged. Oh my god. Can this go from 0 to 100 in only 2.9 seconds. This is the most enormous engine I've Most ever immersive, seen. very powerful and it comprises of 691 horsepower Okay. and can reach 217 uh, miles per hour Ooh. in no time. So finally we are inside the Lamborghini Aventador. So can you please explain us about the interiors? Um, looking at the front console, hmm. you can see that we have the signature Lamborghini steering wheel okay. which comprises of the leather stitchings mm -hmm. and also of the features that are very useful for the driver in handy. Hmm. You can see we have the volume control as well as the switches between the hmm. navigation system you can switch on. 
as well as we also have the voice command okay. for which you have to connect your cell phone to mm -hmm. the multimedia mm -hmm. and it will ultimately track the device once mm -hmm. an incoming call mm -hmm. is being attended or disconnected everything to your everything. voice command yeah below that we have the seven speed transmission mm -hmm. dual clutch with the pedal shifters okay yes exactly can you can you just explain us uh, further on this pedal shifters and um, pedal shifters are basically um, gives you a more sport sport confidence mm -hmm. when you're driving the car all you have to do is simply press the pedals in order to uh, accelerate or okay. move the gears from f first to second to third to fourth so it's basically your gearbox fingertips, finger tips. fingertips. exactly <laughs> okay and uh, you were telling that is a seven speed or something seven speed this is the that? reason why the car is being pushed to its limit so this is like the the seven speed makes the car gear shifts, exactly right? gear oh, shifts from okay. first to seven oh, okay. four to five okay, okay exactly okay. so seven is the ultimate, ultimate. Oh, okay. that is the reason why the car can go from zero to hundred Oh, in, okay. in a matter of seconds. Okay. And here you can see that we have the um, multi information display with mm. the fully digital clusters. Mm. We also have the timing settings as well as the amount of fuel left, mm. kilometers driven, and the tire inflations. We okay. ha I mean, we have complete information of the car so basically in the, a single go. Yeah, it's like the complete access and information the cream, the cream on information of the car. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's like all in one. Exactly. Now moving on the front dashboard, hmm. you can see that one of the most fascinating features hmm. and personally my favorite feature I find yeah. is the engine ignition. Yeah. You know like every time when I switch on the car, I feel like a pilot, a jet pilot. Actually, this whole, uh, the way... The whole console the is so beautifully designed. The way how they have designed. designed, it looks like a cockpit. Exactly, it is, it is like a cockpit. So you know yeah. like you have to open this um, this console, this small... Uh, Button, button, exactly <laughs> whatever you say, and, you just and we start it this, exactly. You know, you feel like a pilot yeah. when you start the car. And Lamborghini Aventador also consists of these three modes, okay. driving modes basically. That mm. is a Strada, Sport, mm. and Corsa. Okay, so sports mode good. basically pushes the car to its limit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It can go from zero to hundred in less than two point nine seconds. It's Ooh. official rating. <laughs> that's that's amazing. Fast. Yes, and the most decent and the most well behaved drive is the Corsa. Okay, so basically Strata and Corsa is for a very stable kind of driving. Exactly, Strata is the basic, is the basic like driving. Like when you go on road, when you're in traffic exactly. and everything. Even the exhaust sound when it is in sports, it changes. Okay, it's Just like too sound. loud and too mass loud. massive, right? Muscular. Yeah, and uh, these two are for the stable and the decent kind of Medicine, driving. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's very amazing. Uh, yes, feature. exactly. And on the front, you can see mm. that we have the suspension controls. Mm. For example, if you are on a very, very bumpy road mm. and you want to elevate the mm. height of the car, you will simply have to press this button and the front end and the rear ends will be automatically elevated. Oh wow, so basically the car elevates. They have every option. Okay, that's that's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting, exactly. Yes. And these are the hazard warnings. Hazard you know. warnings. And yeah. And I, I even find this uh, the windows. Power windows. Power automated. windows. Rather than operating from exactly. here. Exactly. Every car has Operating from it. here. This seems to be very very fascinating to yes. me. <laughs> and the other very feature of the car is the parking sensors as mm -hmm. well as the steering assist. Okay. The parking sensors are obviously very basic features. In the basic, in yeah, car. yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are the controls for the navigation you can see okay. that are controlling it from here. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, simultaneous buttons, the navigation, information, car, and yeah, setup, and everything. Yeah, radio, radio, everything is there. Exactly. This, this is like the basic which is there in any. The very most basic of the cars. feature. Yeah, yeah. And despite having that large gearbox which looks very old school, mm. they have this small compartment in which you have the gear. Like such as the reverse, the manual, the parking, automatic parking brake. Th this is like the most compact, compact. gearbox exactly. I have ever seen. Like it's it's all over with just two buttons. Everything <laughs> is like to the top. Yeah, it's it's really nice. Yes, and right here you can see we have the compartment, storage compartment. Yeah, to charge your charge your cell yes. phone and every other thing. You know, I find this small detailing very very dominant, where they have matched the color of the exterior to the interior stitches. Is this with all the Aventadors? Basically, this is one of the very basic and the signature features of a Lamborghini. They mm -hmm. coordinate the stitchings with the exterior color, which makes the interior look extremely decent and beautiful. Exactly. It, it, it's such a... Like every single thing, even the minor things, like mm -hmm. on the dashboard, from the top to the end are stitched. Okay. In yellow. Okay. It depends upon the exterior color as mm -hmm. well as the interior. So it's pretty much customized. Like they, they match it 
Accordingly. Accordingly. Okay. It is coordinated okay. actually. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And how even the seats, you okay. can see that the seats are napa leather. Yeah. And even the stitchings on the seats hmm. matches the exterior color. So this is a special kind of a leather called napa leather. Napa leather, exactly. Okay. Okay. So that's the speciality of the. Speciality. Okay. And uh, how about you know this um, the lightings and everything you know the is there any special we do have it? the led lighting system mm -hmm. these are actually the reading lamps okay that's that's pretty much the common features the common features it? exactly okay. and you know like this is one of the very few sports cars which only comprise of the led systems okay. not a single filament bulb installed Okay, so this whole thing is run by LED, LED system. Exactly. Okay. The okay. front headlights, the rear lights, the interior lights, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. every single feature. Okay, so that so that is pretty much what comprises the whole of the interior, right? Exactly. Okay, so that's really nice. So we just Amazing. have to we just have to put keep our hands on and start rolling. You know, everything <laughs> is on a fingertip. Yeah, I. Have Once you switch on the car, all you have to do is put the gear in R, in the D, and you, all you have to do is start just the car. Just <laughs> Yeah. Ipo namal ke Lamborghini Aventador e pedi to almost ella marnu. So what next? It's time for me to go for a ride. So guys, I am now driving the Lamborghini Aventador, and trust me, this feel is. I would say it's out of the world. Everybody has to try once at least in your lifetime like you know to you have to feel this. You have to actually drive. I actually feel like I am flying. I don't feel like I am driving. Because that's the kind of feel you get. Especially when you're pressing the accelerator. You feel like, uh, you, you can feel the car. The car is so responsive. It, it, you'll feel it. And all I have to tell is, you all have to try once at least driving this piece of an art. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Lamborghini Aventador as much as I did. So meet you all next episode with yet another exotic car on Crazy Wheels. This is Pratibha Prenath signing off.